Also, Oklahoma Attorney General John O'Connor is one of 20 Republican attorneys general who are calling on the Biden administration to drop a recent proposal that would increase reporting requirements for banks. They sent a letter Friday to both President Biden and Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen. They say the proposal stands in direct opposition to privacy that Americans are entitled to. Banks across the country are also showing their opposition. News Force Thomas Fleming explains what the proposal would do and why it's so controversial. Jacqueline, if that proposal were signed into law, banks would have to keep reports on the total inflows and outflows of every account, whether it be personal or business related, with a balance over $600. Now, that's not the specific transactions, just the total annual inflows and outflows. But even then, banks say that that would create a disaster. It's very concerning to us. Carol Furley with Quail Creek Bank says this proposal would mean disaster for local banks and be an invasion on your privacy. The IRS has probably over a billion attacks on their site on an annual basis. Um, so in, in addition to that, it is a cybersecurity risk. And we just think it's a privacy breach waiting to happen. The State Bankers Association has also already come out against this proposal. So it would be an unfunded mandate on the banks. OBA President Adrian Beveridge says this is going to force banks to redo their systems to track this information, and it would really hurt the smaller banks. Or in those smaller banks where everybody wears a bunch of hats, you're just going to have to add one more hat to the duties. And that the state's representatives in Congress have already noticed the opposition from back home. We've heard from all of our folks in Washington that they don't remember the last time they were contacted by so many constituents on a, on a specific issue. The OBA's opposition mirrors the message from the American Bankers Association, who released a letter to Congress last month saying, quote, this is bad public policy and should be rejected. We reached out to the Biden administration but have not heard back. And when we reached out to the IRS on what implementation would look like, they informed us they do not comment on pending legislation. Thomas Fleming, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, thank you, Thomas. And if this were passed by Congress and signed into law, that proposal would go into effect for tax years after December 31st of next year.